Musketeers, Princess Minnie here back with a new video for you and I'm really excited because I have just been spending far too much money and I can't wait to share with you all the things I purchased with that money. Um, if you are new here or you haven't gotten a chance to subscribe, make sure you do. Um, my subscriber giveaway is currently going on and that's for some really cool Hong Kong Disney pins. So you definitely want to be a subscriber right now. Um, I hope that the lighting kind of is working out. I know it may be a little weird, a little different than normal. I'm trying to film for you guys so I don't miss any videos this week. I've been under the weather so it's been hard to film um, so if the lighting is not your favorite just bear with me I'm still gonna show you like some super cool stuff today I have things from Disneyland just like two things from Disneyland there real quick I have uh, things from the Disney Store Hot Topic Target box lunch Amazon eBay I just I have so many things to show you and I don't want this video to be an hour long so I'm gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna show you some really awesome things I've been holding for a long time um, I have a really old video on my channel I mean really old the channel is only six months old or so um, but one of my first videos was a Disney store haul and I got a ton of plushies in it and one of the plushies I got was Lady and I loved her so 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 much because um, John and I had just got into Lady and the Tramp like big time and I was so sad because I couldn't find a tramp. So John actually went on Amazon and not only did he find me a tramp who's so sweet and cute, but he also found me two like almost like beanie babies of two of the other doggies from that movie. Jock and Trusty, which I honestly I only remember their names because they're written on them. <laughs> Look at these little ears. Oh my goodness, he's so sweet. I mean, just just look at how cute they are. You can't even see his face. I mean, he's so fluffy. So I got my Lady and the Tramp doggies. They were an eBay or an Amazon purchase. John bought them for me as a gift, so I don't know where they're from. But if you like them, just like Google Lady and the Tramp plushies on Amazon, you'll probably find them. Okay. I don't even know where to go next. Um, this will probably be in no order because everything is totally thrown together because like I said it's been quite a while that I've been hoarding these things in order to show you guys. Um, so I think I'm just going to start clearing a path in front of me. And I have this huge box lunch bag and this requires a little bit of a story um, because I had no idea. I, I found box lunch online maybe eight months ago or so and my life has never been the same um <laughs> they just have so many cool fandom items in there and my friend Katie from the channel over the Mooney, which is a Harry Potter reference which is phenomenal um she has this ridiculously cool channel. She does Harry Potter and she does Funko and she does Legos and she does Disney and she does Disney pin uh, monthly unboxings. So you definitely should go check her out. I don't know why you haven't checked her out already except that maybe you haven't heard of her so definitely go and do that. But we live pretty close to one another. It was about a 45 minute drive for me to go visit her and the reason why I went to visit her, not that I didn't just want to see her, was because we made a plan to go to her mall which had a Disney store a Hot Topic which mind you too but she also had a box lunch and I was so 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 excited because I've never seen it and guys it is so trippy in real life it is just floor to ceiling wall to wall amazing merchandise like I don't understand how I even got out of there for the the, the price tag I did but let me start sh pulling things out of here and showing you so box lunch has a crazy crazy section of clearance items where it's it's I think it was that day buy one get two free so yeah now I can't show you everything that I purchased um, this month which was so much stuff because I'm actually doing a bunch of Disney mystery box swaps with other youtubers but it's for vlogmas so i've been buying a ton of things for myself but also a ton of things for my mystery swaps so i have like so many things in here that i i wish wish i could share with you guys but i can't share them with you guys you're gonna have to f like follow along with vlogmas and see who i'm swapping with and then you'll be able to get to see all this really cool stuff that i've already got now i think i'm like almost already done and like this just these just happened but 
I'm very organized. <laughs> but I'm a really big tea drinker and I make tea every single day pretty much and some <laughs> multiple times really. And this is this absolutely gorgeous like tea bag holder which Honestly, I don't know, ever know what to do with my tea bags. If I have like a random paper towel out when I'm making tea, I just dump it on there or I throw it in the sink and then I wind up having like a bunch of disgusting tea bags sitting in the sink for a few days because I'm lazy. Um, but this is a gorgeous tea bag holder. It's time for tea and it's the new Mrs. Potts design from the live action Beauty and the Beast and I just think this is gorgeous. I think it looks super classy so I will keep this out on my kitchen counter every single day and this is probably one of the most practical things I've ever purchased from Disney and this was $13.99 but again it was in their clearance section and if you bought one which I bought this I got two other things for free it was a no-brainer I bought five pins while I was in box lunch and if you know me that represented a huge amount of self-control but box lunch also has this deal where if you buy I think it was like if you buy three things for that are under ten dollars two, two of, or one of them is free what that is insane so I got two pins in that deal plus something else that I can't show you because it's for my mystery swaps so you're just gonna have to oh you're just gonna have to wait till vlogmas guys but it's gonna be an amazing vlogmas and then I got three other pins that were valued above uh, that price at just around $11 each this is the first pin that I purchased um, and it was $9 and it's Donald is a Devil, which I'm super into, and you, you will definitely be seeing this on my Halloween pin board, which will be coming out a little bit closer to Halloween. I love this! The other pin I picked up that was under $10, again about $9, was this Evil Queen. I love this pin. I think she's absolutely stunning in it. I love how big her crown is. I love the poison apple. This will probably not go on my pin board this year, but I'm starting to build up my villains collection for my board next year. And I wish they had had Maleficent, but she was not in the store. I'll probably have to pick her up online at some point. I purchased three of their Toy Story Land pins. This one I just thought was gorgeous and I, I'm kind of starting to build up more of a Toy Story collection so I thought this could be great as like a centerpiece pin. I thought this slinky dog was absolutely adorable and again all of the pins from this collection were about $11. This was my absolute favorite and uh, when we were in the store Katie even asked me did you ever get that aliens pin? And I was like no it's here. So I was absolutely psyched to be able to pick this up and when these pins came out a while ago they were so hard to get a hold of and people were really marking these up online so I'm glad I just waited and I'm, I can get them for that reasonable price. I also picked up two Funko Pops while I was at box lunch and if you know me I'm not the biggest Funko Pop collector um, because I'm very 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 picky with what I choose to display because um, you only have so much room but I am also a huge Christmas person like I will have I have I have way too many Christmas decorations um, in fact last year I started a tradition because I really need for it to happen again <laughs> um where i waited till like the last possible minute really the last weekend before christmas i think to decorate my house because i was just so busy and i was i said to my sister i was like how about you and the girls come over and you guys can decorate my christmas tree and we'll bake stuff so we did we baked a whole bunch of things and we pulled out all my christmas decor and they did my entire tree and they decorated all my like shelves and everything it was so great so i'm definitely gonna ask them to do that again this year because it was a huge amount of work and i didn't have to do almost any of it because i just supervised the baking part <laughs> um but these are two amazing funko pops and i'm hoping to get at least two more from this set of five they are star wars christmas mashups and i mean my god do i love that both of these Funko Pops were listed at about $11 as well, and this is Chewbacca tangled up in Christmas lights. I'm not going to take him out of the box now, but um, around Christmas time I plan on showing you guys a tour of my decorations, and so you will see him close up then. And the other one I picked up was R2-D2 wearing reindeer antlers with some Christmas baubles on them. I just thought this was so cute. Let me show you the other options really quickly. There's also Yoda in a Santa costume, which I desperately want. And there's a Darth Vader with a candy cane, which they did have, but I kind of felt like I was spending enough already for one trip. And then there's C-3PO wearing, I guess, another Santa costume. Um, 
but I, I don't know, I just, I don't really love the way he looks, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick him up. And again, I picked up a few other fun things at Box Lunch, but they were all for my um, YouTuber friends, for our holiday swaps, so I don't want to give any anything away or give them all hints, but uh, I got some pretty cool stuff at Box Lunch and the Disney Store. Um, I think there might only be one Disney Store item then to show you, two Disney Store items, actually. The first is this absolutely beautiful mug that I've had my eye on for months. And I finally was just like, you know what? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm an adult and I work hard for my money and I'm going to spend it. <laughs> so, and this mug was on sale for $9. And plus I have the Disney Visa card, so I get 10% off. So whatever 10% off $9 is, it's not a whole lot at all, actually. But it was worth it to me. And this is brand new. You'll see the sticker inside of it. But I love every single part of this mug. It is this beautiful cream color with this light blue almost like a, a bluish gray, a gr grayish blue handle. And it's some sketches of the White Rabbit, but also him in full color here. And he's one of my favorite Disney characters. I just feel him in my soul. Look at this. Oh, I love it so much. And for $9, yes. Look, oh, inside it's so beautiful. And it's such a nice size mug too. No regrets about this guy. Okay, I'm sure there's another Disney Store item here somewhere, but again, I'm not going in any particular order because all my things are kind of thrown into a bunch of different bags. I do want to show you something I got a park pickup from Pickups by Christina on Facebook uh, for an upcoming Halloween craft I'm going to be doing. Christina picked up the, this Mickey and Minnie set for me that they're dressed as Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and I was already going to do a craft with Nightmare Before Christmas and that's going to be coming up soon because I mean Halloween season is quickly coming to a close um, but I think these are absolutely gorgeous and I looked everywhere for these I tried like Shop Disney they didn't have them and then I tried eBay and Amazon and people wanted like $40 for each of these and I thought that's nope that's too much for an arts and craft project. Nope, nope, nope. And so I, then I was like, you know what? Let me just reach out to Christina. And she picked these up for me at like their price, which was $20 each. And I was like, okay, for something, a craft that I'm gonna make, that I'm gonna love, that I'm gonna have for like the rest of my life for Halloween season, I'll spend 40 on that. So I'll give you close-ups of these guys, but just so you know, get a pickup person. Um, I'm not going to necessarily like demand you use my person because <laughs> I can't do that. That's silly. But get yourself a park pickup person and don't spend like double the cost on Amazon and eBay for things that you want that are still currently in the parks. Look at these two. Look at all their details. I love Mickey's coloring. You can see Minnie or slash Sally's really long hair. And I do wish I had a zero to go with them. Like I wish they had Pluto a zero. That would be super cool, but I'm happy with them as is. Speaking of actual Disney merch, this is something I forgot to include in my Disneyland haul, which I'm sickened by that because this was the number one thing I wanted from Disneyland. Um, this is a rose gold Alex and Ani set. And it features a carousel horse and then this little tag that is like robin's egg blue and says i live in fantasy land and i looked all over the parks for these until i found them on main street and disneyland park and i wore them constantly and i think i need to start wearing those again constantly i wear alexani's a lot but i don't wear them in my videos because they just seem like they would make too much noise and i already told you that i just met up with my friend katie from over the mooney for a big shopping spree which then totally also turned into dinner and a huge like heart to heart about everything in life um so which is always really cool when you just meet someone you like click and you connect and that's super awesome but she brought me this little present and i was like so stunned because honestly i had seen this and i wanted this so badly it's like she read my mind my soul my disney soul and it is lady and the tramp obviously uh i love them and they're in little keychains and i'm not an in the box collector by any means i like things to be out I just love this packaging so much I think I might keep it in the box at least for a little while. But look at these two. I just even feel like they're, I mean they have those blank Funko eyes, but there's something about this that really makes me think they're looking longingly and lovingly into each other's eyes. Okay, I think next we'll tackle this big Hot Topic bag that I have. And I might have made two trips to Hot Topic in the time that I, um, like, 
was gathering things for this haul. So I don't even know when I got these, but if, if, oh, can you see him? I wonder, I have this little Jack Skellington here that I showed in a previous haul and he came with this little zero and Jack does not do a very good job standing up, but zero does. And there was, and it's a Miss Mindy vinyl figurine. And I was like, I think I'm going to regret not getting Sally, but I couldn't find her anywhere afterwards until... I did! I found she there was one more of her at my Hot Topic when I went. I'm not going to open her right now, but probably for future videos she'll be with Jack in the background. So definitely when I do the Nightmare Before Christmas craft she'll show up and you'll get to see her in her full glory. And she has a stand, so I couldn't find a stand in Jack's box. Maybe I missed it somehow, but she has a stand, which is great because she has very pointy little feet and that would not work out so well. But look at her pretty little outfit. Oh, I'm really happy I have this. This was pretty expensive at $33, but I had like a ton of Hot Topic hot cash to spend, so it's like it was half off. That's not so bad. I also picked up this diamond edition, which just means it's super glittery, of Winnie the Pooh. And I'm a huge Winnie the Pooh fan, so I almost don't want to unbox this one either, but at some point I will and um, he'll probably be out on my shelf. Maybe I do, I'll do like a whole Winnie the Pooh background in springtime or something and he'll be out then. And I guess because it's Diamond uh, Collection, they jacked up the price a little bit and that was closer to like $15. Um, oh, I also got these amazing pieces of Harry Potter jewelry for pretty cheap at Hot Topic. Um, the necklace that I'm wearing I'm going to show you is the outline of the Hogwarts castle. I know this is like primarily a Disney channel, but I'm also a big Harry Potter fan and some of you have asked. I'm a Ravenclaw. Like for sure I'm a Ravenclaw. I've taken the quiz, but even so I know it in my bones and in my blood. I'm just such a Ravenclaw. And um, if I had to pick a secondary house, like if I would say like 92% Ravenclaw, the rest of me would be Slytherin. Um, not because I'm like evil or anything, <laughs> but just because I really don't identify with the other two houses like at all. But John, we kind of thought he was a Ravenclaw for a while because he's really, really smart. But then I kind of realized he's just way more of a Gryffindor because of just his really strong ethical character. Um, but he'd be like the Hermione in Gryffindor, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, he'd be the one that you'd be like, why wasn't he in Ravenclaw? But then you'd see him be like really brave and you'd get it. And then the earrings I'm wearing are super cute. They're Hedwig and they're a cross between Hedwig and um, the acceptance letter to Hogwarts. So these will be great for the next time I hit Harry Potter World or land in Universal. What I really like about this is that it's just a very simple silhouette. You might not even notice what it is, but Harry Potter fans sure will. And what I don't like about it is that it actually flips quite easily. So it's like this half the time <laughs> and I don't notice it, but that's okay. I, I'm the kind that plays with my necklace a lot, so I'll figure it out. And it was pretty cheap, so I can't ask for the world. And then here are those absolutely stunning earrings. I really think this is gorgeous. I just like it. I don't have anything else to say about it. I just like it. <laughs> Let's see what else I got, because I don't even remember at this point. Oh. This I'll show you really briefly. It's a Halloween decoration I got. It's Pusheen, the kitty cat, and he's like a Frankenstein version of himself. So I had to get that for Halloween season. <laughs> and Marvel. I know there's not a huge amount of Marvel fans out there that are watching my channel probably, but this is a Venom hat. And I think John was like, I need this, which shocked me because we like never talk about Marvel really. But if my husband says he needs something, he gets it because he doesn't buy anything for himself and now officially I bought it but that's okay <laughs> he buys me plenty of things the last thing that was in that bag is this really cute cropped sweatshirt of stitch and stitch is holding scrump and it is cropped but it says ohana a little bit at the bottom so I love this idea of like a cropped sweatshirt it's like so bizarre like I want to be warm but also kind of cold in my midsection um and this was kind of expensive at $40 but again hot cash so what do you do with life I don't know look at his little face it kind of reminds me of the scene where he's holding the froggy so I really like that and I think this color is really really pretty 
All right, I have another Hot Topic bag and there's a bunch of things in here, but they're all like the same thing. These are Hot Topic exclusive mystery mini vinyl figures of the Nightmare Before Christmas, but they're snow globes. And you can get a ton of the characters from this movie, Jack, Sally, the mayor, Oogie Boogie, Scary Teddy, but then the ones I really want are the Christmas versions of Jack and Zero. Um, and then they have uh, um, Oogie's Boys, Jack calls them, the three kids, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Um, and I'm going to open all of these. I think I bought five of them because I really wanted to get at least one of the Christmas ones. And I'll talk more about Nightmare Before Christmas and how my opinion on it has completely flipped in just such a short period of time. But I'm going to open these in an upcoming video and I'm definitely going to use these as um, decoration for the Halloween season and maybe for the Christmas season too, depending on which ones I get. These are $12.50 each, which is hefty, but I think they're gonna be really nice. There's another sweatshirt also um, that was almost $40 and John insisted I buy this one. It is, and they had sweatpants that went with this too, but I think I'll just wear it probably with jeans so I can wear it like out of the house and not just wear sweatpants. Um, it's a platform nine and three quarters, beautiful burgundy hoodie. And again, I think it's cropped, it's pretty, pretty short. And the cool thing about this, so it's a little hard to put on, but once you put it on, because I did try it on in the store just in case, it has ties at the elbows. So it's kind of, instead of like a cold shoulder, it's a cold elbow sweatshirt, which I don't know, I just thought was really cool. It'll probably always be pretty cold to wear, or pretty warm in Universal to wear this, but we actually went to Universal last year for Thanksgiving, and there were some chilly moments, at least in the mornings, so I could totally see wearing this. For at least for the mornings in Universal. Target, because of course, you know, I got a few things from Target, all of which I'm gonna open in an upcoming video. I'm gonna just do this big like Disney stuff unboxing where I unbox all of these things I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna unbox those mystery minis also. So I'm gonna do that in one big video. Um, but I got a few Tsum Tsums. Uh, like this one has a mystery, but it also has Jasmine and Raja. And I don't know how much these cost at Target because I never look at the price. I just throw them in my, in my basket, just to be honest with you. But these are great because um, I there are some I might want, but I don't really see myself keeping these. I see myself putting these in my treasure box at school for students to go through when they have really good behavior. And then I did get another one, and one of these I might keep, there's, um, Rapunzel up here, which is really cute, and of course you have your mystery, your surprise, but this is Toulouse from the Aristocats, and Toulouse is my favorite Aristocat because I have such a special place in my heart for orange kitty cats. Even though my favorite cat right now is black, um, my favorite cats growing up were all orange, and I wanted an orange tabby so, so badly, and I even said to my husband we went cat shopping. <laughs> I was like, well, we went to the, the, um, the rescue place. I said, the only thing I don't want is a black cat, and of course, what did we get? A black cat and he's like my best friend of all time but you never know how life's gonna work out I also got a whole bunch of these squishy delights which I've opened on my channel before and they're so much fun and this is series two and there's so many cute characters you can get I'm gonna go into that in more detail in my in my upcoming unboxing of these but there's Lady and the Tramp in here and those are for sure who I'm hoping to get although I'm just noticing there's also Wally and I already have an Eve squishy so I guess she was in series one and so I'm definitely hoping to get Eve as well also from Target, I picked up these figural key rings. I've opened two of these on my channel before and, and I've opened the same one both times, which was Cinderella in her wedding dress. So I bought two of these, I guess, and I'll open these in that upcoming video. I'm really hoping to get Beast and Belle, although I would not mind getting Prince Charming to go with Cinderella. I have this big bag from a previous Disney store visit. Um, at this Disney store visit, I picked up a whole bunch of things. And some of these were like cheaper on sale um, patches that you could get just like at the, ch the checkout. So I snagged these. I'll show you all these at once. Um, there's this amazing, I think it's called the Oh My Disney line. And it's this amazing hooded long, it's not a crop everybody, it's very long sweatshirt of many through the years and I just I had to have this I think this was very expensive let me check this was 50 oh, that was the Canadian price I think oh good I didn't spend $50 this was $40 which is still 
like more than I usually would want to spend, but I can see myself wearing this quite a lot. I'm going to show you a close up of that at once. Here's something that my husband insisted I buy, which I was shocked he liked it. It's a scrump inspired, and it has like this cute open back uh, with scrump's bow. But it's a scrump inspired like crop, crop top, and I think that's why he liked it because he likes crop tops. And this was $27, which I also think is insane for what that shirt is. Oh, I just found two more of those key rings from Target. Yay, I have a better chance of opening the ones I want, hopefully, now. Um, and then the last thing I'll show you, I've shown on my channel already, this was the time, this was the weekend that I went to the Disney store when the 90s Mickey Memory set was released, which, oh my gosh, that must be about a month ago now because I think the O's was just released. And over the course of the weekend, I wound up getting three of the pin sets because the first time I went, I got the mug and I got two pin sets because I bought one and then my husband bought one because there's a limit of one per person, which I think is awesome. Um so that everybody can get them. And these pin sets retailed for about $17. Well, then I got home and the mug was broken, but I already showed the mug in a previous video, so I'm not gonna grab that out again. Um, the mug was broken. So John went back the next day and got me a fixed mug and he picked up one more pin set, which is awesome to have as traders. And here is that Mickey Memories 90s pin set. I do know that this is one of my favorites from all of the Mickey Memories. I mean, there have been some I downright just hate. But this I really love, and I think this one might be my favorite from it. I think the words might be John's favorite. Just a little Baymax and Mochi adhesive that I picked up at the checkout, so it was only a couple of bucks. It was very cheap. I picked up the Stitch and Scrump adhesive patch set. I think it's very, very cute. I don't really put patches on my clothes, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I like them. <laughs> And this is the Aristocat siblings as emojis! And I do think Marie's the cutest one here with her uh, little blowing a heart kiss. But I like the other ones too. And oh my god, does this say? Yeah, this was $3! A dollar per kitten? I'll take it. Just a little close up of the details on the scrump shirt. I personally wasn't even sure I really even liked this shirt that much, but when my husband says he likes something, I get it. And the hooded Minnie Mouse through the years sweatshirt. And look how long it is. It's so long. I think when I put it against my body, it definitely goes like to my thighs or so. And here's some close ups of the beautiful mouse herself through the years. Sorry for the, uh, the, uh, the abrupt lighting change, but my, the sun has officially passed my house in such a way that it's not like glaring in my face anymore. So I think this is a little bit better lit. Again, I apologize for the lighting in this video. I just really wanted to have a video ready for you guys. I didn't want to miss an, a day of uploading. So I hope that you totally understand that and um, just can bear with me through the lighting. This is another pop I picked up. It's so crazy. And I think it was pretty cheap. I think this was only maybe $8 or something, um, give or take. And this I got at Michael's Craft Store. Uh, everywhere self, sells pops now, right? And they had a few Disney ones, and I was able to pass up on most of them. Like I said, I'm pretty picky. But again, this is one I will just have out for the winter season. This one can kind of transcend just Christmas time. I'll probably keep this out through January and maybe even February. But this is Olaf with Kittens from Olaf's Frozen Adventure, which I have not seen, but I love me some Olaf, and I love kittens, and I love wintry things. So it all combined to be a win for me, especially with the great price tag that Michael's had. And again, he'll be out at some point when I do my tour of Disney decorations, but he's so cute, and those kittens are so cute, and I really, really, really want to see Olaf's Frozen Adventure, but I don't know where I can find it. I haven't looked, but I don't know where I can find it. I feel like I might as well show you guys the last pop that I got. I know I said I don't get many, but again, this is one I will only keep out for the Halloween season, so I'm dying to show you so I can actually put it out and get like a week or so's use out of it. Um, this I bought on eBay, and this is Maleficent. I am a recent Maleficent lover. She's my second favorite villain and my number one female villain. Um, sorry, all you Ursula lovers out there, because I feel like she's probably most other people's favorite female villain, or maybe the evil queen. Um, but 
she just looks flawless and her makeup's on point and I love her green skin and I love everything about Maleficent. I love how petty she is. Like I really identify with her on like such a deep spiritual level. And this was not that expensive. This might have been like 10 or 11 dollars. I got a pretty good deal on eBay. And here she is. You know what? I might as well take her out of the box because I want to put her out for Halloween. Oh my god, I love her so much. I love her pose. I love her horns. I love her face. I love her scepter. I love how dramatic she looks. Let's get a let's get a whole 360 of the mistress of all evil. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. The next two things I want to show you guys kind of have a connected theme. And again, they're from Box Lunch, but I bought these a while ago from um, Box Lunch Online before I ever got to go to their wonderful, like, Fantasyland store. The first is this absolutely beautiful Marie pin, and it says, J'adore. And it says something else that I don't know what it says <laughs> because I'm just starting my French lessons. Um, in anticipation of hopefully going to Disneyland Paris within two years. And this pin was about $6. It's pretty small, but it's very adorable. And then I was able to get a shirt that I had my eye on for so long when it was in their clearance section and I let it go and it, it I never bought it and I was so devastated when I, I couldn't find it anymore, but then it came back. And then it's this sleeveless, it's not seasonal, seasonally appropriate at all, but I'll still wear it to the gym or just around the house, maybe with a, you know, like a sweater on over it or something. But it is this sleeveless um, Aristocat sibling um, ice cream cone shirt. And I just, I am absolutely obsessed with this. And I think it was in the 20 something dollar range. I don't remember. It's been so long, but just like I learned my lesson. And if I'm absolutely obsessed with something like this again, I'm just getting it. I think this would be perfect to wear in like Disney Springs or something or downtown Disney in Disneyland. And here is a close up of their perfect kitty cat faces. I love I love every single detail about this. I don't know why they had an ice cream cone, but I'm here for it. And here is that beautiful Marie pin. I love the, the colors on this. I think this is so feminine and girly and I love it. It's so Marie. We are down to the final segment of this video that's a lot longer than I thought, but I really haven't told you guys like any stories really. It's just a lot of stuff. Um, and I finally caved into the peer pressure and the Disney YouTuber community. It's positive peer pressure, I guess. And I ordered candles from the Wishes Candle Co. And one of these is a gift for my YouTuber swap, but I'm still going to show you it because I feel like there's so many great ones here that the person who it's for will have no idea still. I definitely have a favorite of the scents. And then I have like a surprise second favorite. So I'm interested to see if anybody out there has ordered any of these wish candle, wish, wish you kind of call, whoa, whoa. If you watch my videos, you know, I don't edit stuff like that out because that's real. That's real life. And I share my real life with you guys. <laughs> and I, my, my brain is way faster than my mouth sometimes. I want to get all these words out and uh, my mouth just isn't equipped to handle it at that speed. So. I got four candles. I was able to get 10% off with my friend Katie's code, which is just Mooney, and you should definitely use that code as well. Let me show you uh, these scents that I got. I, I am more of a sweet scent person, but sometimes those scents can be like cloying or just like way too much. I will say when I opened the box from Wishes Candle Co., I could smell, I have a horrible sense of smell. It's absolutely horrendous. I could smell all of the scents. It was insane. So I definitely think even though these are expensive candles, I think they're worth it because I think they have a pretty long burn time. You get a free pin, Disney pin inside and the scents are pretty killer. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Pirate's Rum. So obviously that's a play on Pirates of the Caribbean and it's so gorgeous. I'm going to be honest with you. Usually when I buy candles, like say from Bath and Body Works or whatever, or Target, they have an ugly picture on the front and I just turn it around. So, I mean, here they have like instructions or information about the candle, um, but I just turn it around so you can only see the beautiful candle part. But this I'm definitely going to leave out on the front, which is nice. It's almost like artwork in and of itself. I thought I was going to love this one because I love rum and I love the smell of rum um, and I do really like the scent but it is super super rummy like you are not gonna be you know 
wishing for more rum. You will have got I mean, wishes candle co wish fulfilled. And look at all that glitter on there. I'm interested to see what that's like when it burns. And I of course want to know what pin I'm getting in here. So $18 is a lot for this tiny candle, honestly. But I mean, they're a small company. They're not like a big conglomerate and they can't, you know, they have to upcharge a little bit. So I'm okay with that to support this business. And also because the scents really are amazing. But I do want to try some other Disney candle companies out there. And I know there are a lot of great ones, but I just can't decide. So let me know if you know of any other good ones. A scent that totally caught me off guard because it's not necessarily my favorite, which is which are like sweet bakery almost like scents. This does kind of fall into my other kind of favorite scent, which is seasonal fall scent. This is Lord of the Underworld, so a play on Hades from Hercules, who's a really, really fun villain. And this has just such like a beautiful coloring. This has like a campfire smell, and it's also supposed to smell like s'mores on the campfire. And there's definitely a sweetness to it. Uh, look, the glitter is really nice on this, but it's not as like in your face as the other one was, the Pirate's Rum with the red glitter. Um, but this does smell really nice. And I think it's weird because when I think like campfire, I think brown. So I think my brain is having a very hard time connecting this smell to this color. But I think I'll be able to live with that. <laughs> it's really, really great. I ordered this one because it sounded really good to me online. It's called Break the Spell, and I think, I, I don't know, I'm such a sucker for white candles. I don't know what it is, like cream-colored candles. They're my jam. I love how beautiful they look. I don't know what it is. Maybe because they look very clean. I don't know. But I'm a sucker for a white candle, like a cream-colored especially, or off-white candle. And Break the Spell sounded so pretty, and the scent sounded so lovely, and I can't remember what it said now. I'm going to put it right here. But let me open this. It is very sweet smelling and I actually like it more now than when I tested it when I opened it. It's not fully covered in glitter, but again, it's that bright red in your face glitter, which I thought was so weird with um, this color, to be honest. I actually like this a whole lot more than when I first opened it and now it's, it's definitely in the running for one of my faves. But if you like more like vanilla or sweet smells, you should absolutely grab Break the Spell. But finally, my number one scent, and if you're a sweet candle smeller, then you have to get Bag of Beignets, which is from, you know, representing the French Quarter as well, which is one of my favorite Disney resorts. I actually think it's my, it's either my number two or three favorite Disney resort behind Wilderness Lodge, which is a clear cut number one for me. And then the Swan is like, I'm not sure whether French Quarter or the Swan is my number two. Let's take a look. Now this is what I was hoping from Break the Spell. Glitter, but very like, unobtrusive and not like so crazy in your face, but this smells absolutely insane. And like I said, I have a horrible sense of smell, but I can smell these. I can, sm uh, and I want to inhale this smell forever. I'm sure I'll be ordering this scent again and I won't, e I won't even mind the price tag at all. I hope you like watching this like big collective merch haul. Like I said, I actually bought way more than you got to see because I'm involved in so many YouTuber swaps for Vlogmas. I hope that you're getting really excited for Vlogmas. Let me know if there's any cool content that you are hoping to see from me for Vlogmas or that you'd like to see in preparation for the holiday season. Like I'm hoping in like late November to also be doing a bunch of ear tutorials with specific holiday themes for the ears. So let me know what you liked from this haul. Let me know if you're excited for Vlogmas. Just say hi. I love when people are just like, hey, I'm like, hey, back. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you real soon.